centre half at Oldham. Um, I come through the academy at Oldham, so I was there since I was 15, and now I'm 21. And um, yeah, from Manchester. You know, it was uh, it was it was a tough game anyway. You know what I mean? But uh, again, listen, I, I can't keep going on about referees. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm going to have to draw a line under that one. Uh, I just let other people speak for me. Um, but you know, that's uh, that's a disappointing uh, result to take. And uh, I said to this to the, the gap a few minutes ago, it's a chance for you to really. Make your mark, you know, you can mm. put your name in the match, really. Yeah, we're on a good good form, so uh, you know, if we can back up again with another win, mm. then it puts us right in the mix, doesn't it? You stood there about <coughs> social media and saying you, you don't pay attention to it. Is that for like a young lad to say that it's quite weird in this world? <laughs> a Clarky, for example, you can sort of imagine yeah, yeah, yeah. not being on social media, but, but for yourself, I find that is that a personal decision to stay away from it so you don't read the criticism, particularly with like. I don't know, we've seen Raheem Sterling this week very vocal on social mm. media and, and airing his thoughts. Where's your, where's your stance on...? Nah, right, on all my social media, I'm just private. You know, I know Callum, who's back there, asked me to follow him and that, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm stingy with my data, but... Uh, no, nah, I don't don't really appeal to me. You know, I can't bring myself to, like, tweet or take a photo or whatever, a selfie, you know what I mean? It just doesn't appeal to me, so... I just, I'm on it, but, I, you know, I just follow family and friends, really. So and I've just seen any posts from you about the office Christmas party then this year? Nah, nothing. I don't even. I don't even go on it really. I don't even tweet. So, uh, but yeah, stay away. Um, what have you got to do this weekend for three points? What? What is the tactics? As we've mentioned, very free scoring. Mm. They score from not only inside the box but some cracking goals yeah, yeah. this season. Uh, be a like we said, feisty encounter. So, I think first of all, we just got to say like win the right to play. So for you know. 20 minutes like any other game it's going to be you're going to have to your 1v1s are going to be important and that um, so yeah it's going to be tough obviously <clears throat> probably a bit more livelier than most games but uh, yeah we're looking forward to it The supporters didn't get the bragging rights on Tuesday night do you feel any more pressure to to give them those bragging rights for, for Saturday? I don't, I don't feel the pressure I, you know I just uh I think the players will turn up and we will bounce back. Um, I thought the, the supporters were terrific again, as they have been, you know, over the last five or six weeks. And I think there's a, a unity coming together with with the players, and uh, that's really pleasing to see. And takes me back to the era, you know, that we were here playing, and the uh, the rapport between the players and the supporters was terrific. And uh, it's something that I'm trying to encourage. It's something I'm, I'm you know, as a certainly. Uh, as a person with history of this place, you know, trying to reintroduce, and um, I think it's coming together nicely. As a player, would you have approached local derbies a little bit differently to how you're doing as a as a manager? What were they like back then? Uh, yeah, they were great, you know, and it's 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 games that you enjoy and you relish, and and so do the supporters, you know, and the atmosphere should be good, should be lively. Everybody wants to be in front of a, a, a big crowd, you know, to show your talent and uh, hopefully we'll have a good turnout and a noisy turnout from uh, the Oldham supporters.